What's up everybody? Well, I got another Asus Ally X gameplay video for you guys today. And today we're gonna have a look at Lord of the Rings Return to Moria. Now I already played it a little bit on the Steam Deck and it seemed to play all right. It couldn't hit a constant 60 all the time, but I figured it wasn't going to. So when it when that is the case, usually this at 1080p isn't gonna hit 60 either. We'll still try it out though. We'll probably end up doing our normal 1080p high, 900p medium and 720p low thing that we do. So with that all out of the way, why don't we hop ourselves into the game? All right, we're gonna start off with 1080p. It might not get the most FPS. Hell, it might not even get playable FPS, but we're gonna try it anyway, just cause I'm sure there's some people that wanna see if you can play 1080p high, but let's not waste any more time and let's get into the game. Here we are in the game, 1080p high, and it seems to be a little too hard for it to run like this because this does not get interfered with by uh, recording. This OBS is just a cord plugged into it and it's a capture card. Now my laptops, those have OBS just on the laptop. So that actually affects FPS quite a bit. Well, I, well, I'd still say quite a bit. It can be anywhere from four to 10, depending on what you're doing. And same thing on the little Firebat mini PC. That's also just using OBS. Then the rest of the computers, I just let them use their actual, like, manufacturer recording software. So Nvidia video shadow play and then read live for Let's AMD. See what you're keeping. And most of the time they work well, but I've been having some problems with my uh, TV PC not wanting to record sound with Shadow Play. I have sound the whole time, so I don't know what the hell is going on with that, but it's kind of annoying. Luckily, the camera recorded portion has sound and everything, but it's kind of annoying to have the game have no audio and then just have me talking. Not everybody just wants to hear me talk after all. Some people want to hear the game audio. And that's why I try to balance talking and not talking here and there. Because I'm sure there's some people that are subscribing to me that enjoy hearing me. And that's why some people are like, eh, I really wish you wouldn't talk so much. I'd rather just listen to what's going on in the game. So I try to appease both crowds. You can never make everybody happy, but I still try, damn it. <laughs> hmm, a carving. I wonder what the hell that's for. I mean, I'm sure I'm gonna figure that all out eventually, but for now I'm pretty clueless. All right, why don't we go ahead and move on. Now for 900p, we're gonna do medium now. There doesn't seem to be a more advanced tab or I would go to it. And But at least it does have FSR and DLSS. I have no idea what version of them they are, but at least it has upscaling. So, now, why don't we go ahead and get back into the game. Here we go, 9RP. Definitely getting a lot more playable FPS this way. We still might not hit a constant 60 or anything, but much better than 130. I feel like most people would probably be completely okay playing this game like this. Me, I would probably play it just 720p low, because if you're playing on that little screen, you usually don't notice, like, huge differences in... Uh, graphics quality. I mean, you can if you, like, really look for it. Or if the game requires, like, FSR performance to be playable, then you're still gonna be like, okay, no, it definitely looks better this other way, but... Alright, what in the hell did I get myself into down here? Oh, I found some cranberries, at least. Cranberries are pretty delicious. Very tart. Yeah, it's probably butchered. I'm terrible at pronouncing all sorts of names. But if I don't try, how will I ever improve? Oh, I walked right past a chest. That was stupid. I didn't even see that while I was playing. We got orcs. Orcs. I don't like orcs. Oh, wow. Over here we drop all the way down to the 30s, though. We're on fire, it seems. So fire just must be really hard to do. Alright, let's see. Crafting. See, that's the thing. I was trying to figure out how to make a bedroll, but... I didn't seem to see it in there, so there must be some place to put it. 
But whatever. As long as we get a little bit of some gameplay, that's all that really matters. No, don't get him. Leave me alone. What the hell are they anyway? I hear them, but I don't see them. Bastards. They're gonna attack me. Attack me already. Anyway, though, why don't we drop it down to 720? Well, now here we go with a little 720p with low graphics settings now. I didn't bother trying FSR because it didn't seem like it was really necessary. I only use that when I feel like it's super necessary. But anyway, let us get back to the game now. So here we go with some 720p now. And at least so far, unless I missed it, I think it stayed over 60 basically the whole time. I think there might have been one or two instances where I saw it drop down like 58 or 59 or something like that, but for the most part, I think it was 60 plus, which is what I would want. But there's plenty of people that are probably totally fine playing this game at 30 FPS. It did have those two of his options, 30 and 60, where the two locked FPS numbers. But I mean, you could use any system you want, or uh, you could use AMD settings, or you could use Afterburner to lock setting or lock your FPS to whatever it is you want. So if you got one hertz and twenty hertz screen, and you only want seventy-five. You can just go, hey, no, I want seventy-five. Build a bedroll. Gotta build it and claim it. I cannot remember when the hell I figured out how to do that either. I don't even remember if I tried right now. I might have just been like, hey, let's just explore. <laughs> They're not gonna last this night. Oh, screw you. You get your ass back out of that hole. I'm gonna pickaxe you. There's two more of them now. I could have sworn I had that. No, I guess I didn't. I thought I already had a real weapon. Ah, oh, they're just gonna run anyway. Little bastards. Always digging around. Oh shit, I did not notice that was a drop. Hell, that would hurt like hell when we were in real life just walking around in the dark and the next thing you know. Alright, now for some camera recorded gameplay. to apparently build a better roll, but I did not see where to build one. It's not a stove. I do not see bedroll. So maybe I have to find the recipe for said bedroll, maybe? Just throwing things out there, no idea. Well, either way, I guess we can just keep exploring this area. But I feel like I've pretty much been in almost every nook and cranny by now. And still have nothing to show for it. Just more claw. Never have too much stuff.
okay, well, I found a bed, like half of a bed, but there's no roll. Kind of figured he was gonna die there, to be honest. Luckily, no. I like, thought about that right after I had jumped. I was like, oh, wait a minute, you have health and whatnot in this game. And he is just a witch, I'm call it. Nope. But at least I didn't die, and even if I did, who cares? We'll just restart. We're just trying to get some FPS data here anyway. But it definitely runs a lot better on this than it does on the Steam Deck, that's for sure. Steam Deck is still playable, don't get me wrong, but. Low 720p, we're in the 70s to 80s, sometimes even in the 100s, where that thing would, you know, 70s, 80s, but then drop into the 50s. Still has its little stutters here and there, though, it seems. I wonder if that's just the way this game is. Get you on my nose, luckily I can get you down my freaking camera thing, and I have to take my hands off of that. Ally X here. I almost called it the Steam Deck. I was like, wait, no, no, what is it? Got too many damn handhelds. All right, well, we did that. When do we attack? I want to taste more flesh. All right, so now I can make roasted cranberries and mushroom stew. All right, can I repair anything else? Maybe I'm just supposed to... And go up to something like this and find a bedroll like this. Oh, no, that's cool. I do not have that yet. And I certainly don't have that guy's key. Unfortunately, kind of confused. I got that made. But then I gotta go and find a freaking bedroll. I can't make it, so I figured, oh, well, maybe... Maybe it's just kind of something like this, where you walk up to it and repair it and then claim it. But so far, I have not found one. There's gotta be something. They wouldn't just make something that's impossible to do. Good, now I can actually read that. I couldn't read that on the Steam Deck, so I had to, like, grab things one at a time. Anyway, though, I think that's probably good enough for the camera recorded part, so why don't we go ahead and wrap this video on up. Well, all right, guys, that's a wrap for Lord of the Rings Return to Moria on the Asus Ally X, and it did a pretty good job. Couldn't quite handle 1080p and high settings, but that's often the case, but it did all right with medium, 900p, and we were pretty much 60 plus at 720p low settings for the people that like 60 FPS like me, so pretty badass. Kinda wonder how the Firebat Mini PC is gonna run. That one's a wild card. Sometimes it runs decent, sometimes it runs worse than the Steam Deck. It's very random, but in any case, that's all I got for you guys for this particular video. I hope you guys enjoyed the video because I sure as hell enjoyed making it for you guys. And until the next video, peace out, guys.